So I'm going to show you how to map the parameter button that Pioneer don't allow to be directly mapped with MIDI uh, in record box. How I've mapped it to the uh, button on my FZ. So I just mapped it to the OSC parameter button because I don't use that normally. So if you go into the MIDI section and then effects where you can add the color, other color effects stuff, does that have an option for the uh, parameter knob, like the color effects parameter knob, I'll show you what it does. So basically uh, if you go to user uh, color effects and then set it to whatever you want, I'm going to add these to the OSC buttons because I don't use them, so I'm going to add individual buttons for all these. Uh, that's next. But I got the parameter knob to work anyway, that usually you can't map it, but I mapped it to the button. Uh, to the knob for the sampler. So, how I done it, I'll show you it working first actually. So, I don't you need to individually map the uh, color effects knobs in record box first to make everything work so that it starts so that these knobs uh, adjust the parameter here first because they don't do that by default. So, that's where user filter. And then I can adjust the parameter knob and it's adjusting there from here. That's how it works. So I'll show you how you do it now. What you need to do is you need to get these maps. Uh, these are for all the Pioneer DJ stuff. And I've done that by uh, going to the record box file. Uh, the record box application file directly uh, then show package contents they're in here they're all in here so I know the only controller that's got the parameter knob on it as hardware that works is the RZX so I opened the MIDI file for that and then I just scrolled down until I found what I was looking for uh, where is it? So these are the buttons I'm going to use next, the color effects on buttons to map the uh, oscillator buttons here. The only, only problem with doing the mapping like this uh, is the buttons here still work even if you've got the user effects turned on. So what I might have to do is enable the filter button, map these individually to the buttons in record box first for user assigned. Uh, because just now what happens if I've got user effects on the hardware effects from the SZ still override it so you'll get both the SZ's hardware effects and the software effects from Rekordbox Anyway, I went into the CSV file, the MIDI file for the RZX and found the color effects subparameter which is what I was going to add so I just you need to copy this bit uh, make sure you put them in uh, the right columns as well copy this bit, this bit and this bit uh, and the fast, but you need to put a semicolon after the fast when you add it to the file. Uh, description, I just put, put it in just in case. But adding them like this, basically hacking them into the program, they won't come up in the normal MIDI mapping section of record box. Uh, I presume that's because it's not meant to be there. Uh, so anyway, I got it from the RZX file, so you copy the copy the uh, basically the name of what you're trying to do out there. Uh, then I went into my uh, SZ maps and I just copied the file. I've remapped a couple other things. I removed the slicer because it's useless and added the key shift. Uh, the sync button has been remapped, turned quantize on and off because I don't use sync and I do use quantize on and off quite a lot. Uh, what else have I remapped on this? Made sure that all the color effects knobs were mapped properly and just, just mapped another couple of useful things. Uh, so this is my modded CSV file that I was using to add to the color effects parameter. So I just added added it into the bottom of the file here, and it's there. Uh, all the stuff like I said, and then to get the code for, uh, you can get use whatever knob you want, but I wanted to use this one because I never use the oscillator. Uh, so to get the code for it, I basically just went to the MIDI mapping part of record box, went to a random add, uh, it doesn't matter what you add, but if you just go learn, 
and then like I'll use if I use the volume knob instead this time. Uh, when I turn the knob, I'll just get the code off of, this is how I'm finding out the codes, like that. So, I use the code from there, I just remember the code, and then go and put that into the CSV file, like this. And then save it, and... Uh, go into record box, after I've saved it, and then import the file. Uh, and once I've imported the file, that's the feature works. That's that's as easy as it is. You just import the file, and it has now has the the parameter not working. That was pretty much it. It was not hard at all. You see, that's it getting controlled from here. That's as easy as it was. So, if Pioneer won't add the features, I'll add them instead.